Josie, thank you. Well, now to the damage caused by Nicole. Take a look at this new video out of Volusia County. The erosion is so bad in some areas that some homes will need to be condemned. Portions of A1A had to be closed because the road was collapsing into the ocean. The storm leaving a path of destruction along Florida's east coast. Dozens of buildings along the coast at risk of collapsing. This is our pool deck. We have these tiki huts there. That's our pool. A bunch of lounges and chairs, which we just painted and redid from the damage from Ian. And what did it sound like when it came crashing down? It sounded like a semi truck just hit the wall. It was, it was abnormally loud. It, it's just unbelievable. Like I've been on this coastline from South Florida to here my entire life, 48 years. I've never seen anything remotely close to it. Nicole making landfall south of Vero Beach as a Category 1 hurricane in Volusia County. 49 buildings have now been deemed unsafe, including two dozen hotels and condos. This storm hitting areas that were still recovering from Hurricane Ian, which slammed the west coast of our state just six weeks ago and then made its way over to the east coast. Forecasters in Georgia are now on high alert as Nicole moves in their warning of possible tornadoes and downed trees today. And over in Brevard County, officials are trying to figure out how to fix significant erosion along its coastline. This is what a lot of homeowners are dealing with. I mean, look at this. County leaders say their beaches shrinking while damage to sand and dunes growing. However, they say they are just so glad the community is safe. Meanwhile, crews on the Treasure Coast are still assessing damage caused by the hurricane. Our Kayla Califano is in St. Lucie County, where beaches are going to slowly reopen today. It's hard to believe how beautiful the beach is today here in Fort Pierce, especially compared to what we saw with Hurricane Nicole. Most beaches and parks across St. Lucie County are now back open today. However, there are still a select few that will be closed throughout the weekend. Those beaches and parks are North Causeway Island Park, White City Park, Walton Rocks Beach and Fairwinds Golf Course. They are still waiting for the floodwaters around these areas to subside. People this morning in Fort Pierce are taking advantage of the open beaches. We talked to one man who's glad to be back on his routine. Now that you see it's back to normal, at least you're pretty happy about that. Oh, definitely. Yeah, enjoying the morning. It's like nothing ever happened now. Yesterday, as the sun came up, we got a better look at the damage across other parts of the Treasure Coast. Up in Indian River County, many beaches still remain closed after major erosion, including J.C. Park in Vero Beach. Down in Martin County at Hutchinson Island's Bathtub Beach, the storm surge hit many homes in the area hard. This home lost the entire floor of its garage. Back here in St. Lucie County, crews are still working hard on a select portion of Indian River Drive that was washed out during the storm. Officials tell us they should have that completed sometime in the next two weeks. For now, we're in Fort Pierce. Caleb Califano, WPBF 25 News. Officials on Palm Beach are also hoping to reopen beaches today. They were closed yesterday because of high surf. The island did not sustain any significant damage, but there were some traffic signals that were out in the Midtown area. Crews also had to clean up down power lines. Florida Power and Light is working around the clock to make sure that people have electricity. And at one point yesterday, at least 28,000 customers in our five counties did not have power. Just in the past hour, all power has been restored to all counties. St. Lucie County is still sitting with about 70 people without power. Again, power, Florida Power and Light, they're fully aware and they're working to restore that power. FPL had crews ready to turn power back on quickly shortly after the storm made landfall there near Vero Beach. We're expecting another update from FPL and their restoration efforts around the entire state sometime later on today.